tomorrow. Joining me, Patty Brigulio. She is the president of MMI Public Relations, a PR firm. She joins us from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey there, Patty. And Christopher Zane, the Hello. founder of Zane's Cycles, a big bike shop in Branford, Connecticut, near New Haven. And Chris is right here in the studio. So, Chris, I want to ask you, you know, uh, we're told that a key component of the president's jobs plan is an extension of the payroll tax break for employees. Is this music to your ears? You say the president needs to listen to Main Street. Is he? He's really not, because when you look at the payroll tax breaks, they're minimal. If I'm going to hire a new employee and it's going to cost me forty or fifty thousand dollars, you know, a thousand dollar tax credit doesn't make me want to hire lots of people because it doesn't add up to a whole lot. So yeah. unfortunately, we don't have the the, there's not enough behind it to be able to justify the pain that can be created by hiring people if you don't necessarily need them. Patty, I know you were hoping to hear something else from the president. You say it's the same old, same old. We should point out you did not vote for President Obama. Uh, what do you want to hear from the president? You know, the, I don't even know where to start. The thing I want to hear most is that the, President Obama understands that government doesn't create jobs. What the government does is create an environment that allows small business to create jobs. And that what he will do is he will work, he will lead from the front, not from behind, and that he will work to create that environment, which gives us access to credit, which um, gives us predictability and certainty so we can plan. That's what I want to hear. I, wa I want some leadership that gives me a, 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 an environment where I can plan for the future. Hmm. Chris, interesting. Uh, I, I want to talk a little, and listen, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that we're in tough economic times. Absolutely. Unemployment still at 9.1 percent. You know, I would think that in this environment, people are thinking to themselves, well, I don't really need that new bike. And I know you say that when there's a 500-point drop in the market, your store is empty the next day. What, how has your store fared? Uh, and, and what do you see as the biggest problem for small business owners? You know, I've been in business for 30 years, so we've seen, I've been through lots of presidents and lots of bad economies and great economies, and that doesn't really upset the apple cart. We can continue and move forward with good, regardless of what the economy is doing. It's the uncertainty in the economy that, that, that immediately affects our yeah, business. Yeah, in fact, you say, it, let the market go down, just let it keep going down. Right, let it figure out, know. let it stabilize, yeah. let it figure out what it's going to, figure out the trend, and then once we have the trend, we know what to do. You know, I agree with the, the credit capacity. The, one of the biggest problems with small businesses is that they don't have access to credit. If you can't make payroll because you can't get a credit line, you're not going to hire new people because you're not going to take on the risk. I've made payroll for 1,500 weeks, 100% mm -hmm. of the time, and that's mm -hmm. a lot of weeks to be Good able to you. make payroll. Yeah. And without access to credit, without the ability to get money to help make, you know, the cover the dips and the, and the peaks, that's what's really going to create jobs in the future. Well, I want to talk to you, Patty, about this as well, because I would think, uh, again, in this environment that companies are saying to themselves, you know what, I can cut that PR budget. Uh, I know you just recently moved into a new building. That's got to be tough for you. Actually, um, we're doing okay. Um, we're, we're very tightly focused on what we do. Um, and, and I'm sort of different in the sense that I saw the downturn as an opportunity to grow. And um, I had been hoarding cash during the good times. I was doing the opposite of what everybody else was doing. What the government could do right now is, is cut the corporate tax rate from 35% to 25%. We have the second highest corporate tax rate in the world. And it would be better for us to get 25% of something than 35% of nothing. Well, and Patty that, and that alone. Okay. And Chris, you know, she brings up the corporate tax rate. You know, Mitt Romney uh, unveiled his own plan yesterday, 59 points. Right. One of them being cutting the corporate tax rate from 35 to 25%. Would that help you? Well, no, it will help us, but I don't know that it's the thing that's going to make the change. I don't so think what it's do you want to hear? I want to hear, one, that, I, that this isn't a political speech to get reelected, that he really has something that's going to give us some opportunity. And again, that they're going to look to Main Street to help grow jobs. Big businesses don't necessarily create jobs for small business, but small business creates jobs for big business. If I buy a building or I buy some equipment, that trickles up to the big businesses. You, you said something interesting to me in the break, which was this. Basically, you said what the president needs to do, what the government needs to do, is just get out of our way. Absolutely. Small business, I mean, we know what we need to do to be successful. And fortunately, like Patty, we've done what needs to be done to be able to weather the storm. Now just let us do it and stop, you know, making things uncomfortable and try to figure out how to, you know, flash trading and all the things that make everything so turbulent. If we could diminish the turbulence, small business is going to be just fine. 
All right. Patty Bergulio and Christopher Zane, we thank you for joining us today. Great, great discussion. Thank you. Good luck.